Hello, I'm Vikas. Uh, today we are going to make one project. Project name is calculator. Uh, you can uh, you can make one particular calculator in your system to simple use. We are going to make a simple calculator. Okay, uh, to using VB.net. Yeah, so need to click on start and uh, Microsoft Visual Studio 2010. So <clears throat> now you are seeing this new project because you are going to uh, create and make new project. So click on new project. Okay, just we uh, we will select the uh, Windows and here Windows Form application. Okay, select first and uh, rename your project. Uh, which kind of project you are going to make? Your project name, calculator. calculator 3 then ok now you are seeing the form our design part need to design of calculator first we will put to using tool label here label ok select the label first and go to properties and rename our project calculator if you want to increase of size of calculator click on font and select your desired size i will choose 18 and bold ok ok adjust the calculator okay uh, now next steps so we will go to toolbox and select text box text box and click an arrow and select multi line to use multi line you can resize the text Okay. Select those text, then copy and paste. Okay. After that, uh, we will use label. Here, label two. Okay, and select label and copy and paste. Label three. Okay, uh, first we will uh, select level 2 and go to properties. We will go to properties and uh, blank text. Okay, and level 3 select we will select level 3 and uh, go to text and empty. Okay, and next process we will select uh, we will go to toolbox and uh, we will put button okay resize button okay copy and paste and select both and copy and paste Okay, now need to rename of button. Just go to properties and here put some. If you want to resize text, go to font and your desired size. I will put there 12 and bold. Okay, now button 2. Go to properties, same process. sub and uh, go to font 12 bold ok now select we will select button 4 properties and we will put the name of button multi 
multiplication and we will increase the size 12 and bold then ok after that we will select button 3 and we will put the name division we will go to font and 12 and ball similar ok our design part has completed now need to generate code we will uh, select sum and double click on button we will generate code first label 2 I think it's yeah label 2 dot text equal to plus then label label 3 dot text equal to value text box 1 dot text plus value text box 1 dot text ok or uh, codes has completed now need to check it's working or not we will click on start debugging uh, we are going to sum 1 and 5 text box 1 and text box 2 we are going to click on sum it's showing something different 5 it's something trouble we will check first ok value 1 level 3 ok it's ok text box 1 ok it's something trouble text box 2 ok select uh, first save and we will try first 5 and 5 we will click on some finally you uh, you got the result 10 it's working ok it's another one we will go to design and first we will copy all contents and go to design and double click on sub button and we will put there control V just we will change sign minus Okay, everything is similar, nothing changed, but we will change the sign. Save. After that, we will go to design and double click on multiplication button and control V. We will change label to sign of multiplication. We will put there and here also multiplication sign ok need to save after that we will go to design and double click on division similar process and control V and division sign and here also similar division sign ok need to save go to design you can uh, change your project name go to property uh, you can change simple simple calculator ok nothing wrong just if you want to change uh, your form name just select form and go to properties and here you are seeing form 1 you can rename we will put their calculator ok it has completed uh, now 
we will press F5 and I will put the 12 subtract 18 subtract uh, result is minus 6 ok now uh, here we will put the we will need to generate need to make one button also its name is reset ok to use this button you can easily reset and blank your text box 1 and text box 2 ok we will go to toolbox and uh, button ok need to delete and select one and control c control v ok so name is reset we will go to properties and we will put the name reset reset and we will increase font 12 and bold ok we will click on reset and we will put there text box 1 dot text equal to double code it means blank text box 2 dot text equal to double code it's similar and we will save need to check it's working or not working it's now 7 and 9 multiplications result yeah it's working 10 4 result is 6 it's working now we will uh, if in this condition we want to uh, remove and uh, reset our text box 1 and text box 2 what we will do just we will click reset button ok so now you are seeing uh, all text is empty but uh, label 1 and lab label 2 and label 3 is not reset so what we will do need to generate a uh, coding we will uh, click reset and we will use label label 1 not 1 it's uh, label 1 already we will use uh, we have used simple calculator so label 2 and label 3 ok so we will put there label 2 dot text equal to double code and label 3 dot text equal to double code ok it has completed we will save first and check is it's working or not working just uh, we will put there 20 and here uh, 20 ok if you want to division you will get answer 1 ok in this condition uh, 2 by 2 division 1 ok now 20 ok we will reset first and we will type 10 10 sum ok 20 sub 0 multiplication 100 division 1 and reset ok everything has completed so now uh, you will learn how you can make the simple calculator ok thank you for watching this video thank you very much